Welcome to another video of Top Secret Garage. Look at my mess. But it is what it is. So we're gonna go today. We're gonna take um the block and some things to my um last shop, and we're gonna basically just do the block over there, come back, and then we'll put the head back in there. But I want to show you guys something real quick because I know there's a lot, always a lot of misconceptions about. Um, two JC GEs and GTEs and stuff, but I'm gonna show you real quick. This is a G. This is a GE block, BBTI from IS300. This is the one that comes with the thin rods. Okay. The pistons I had in here from a, were from an SC300, meaning that they are uh, GE non BBTI. I'm gonna put this next to them. GE non BBTA. Look how the difference, how thick, how fat these pistons and look how thin these are. Put them like that. Look how thin that one looks. Look how thick that one looks. So, this rod from the GE non BBTI is the same exact rod as the GTE rod from uh, Aristo, from non, uh, from GTE, same, same rod. So I broke mine, but it wasn't because of the rod and I broke because I already said in the other video, because of this, the pilot bearing was pushing on the, on the crankshaft. But um, just wanted to show you guys that you can get a set of GE non VTI rods and pistons and it's gonna hold a lot of power. Alright, so let's start cleaning up so we got because we gotta go. So we just got to the shop. And um we got all the things in here. We got the block down here, the crankshaft and then the rest of the stuff on is in that my my other car. So my dad is moving cars around. Trying to make me a little spot in there so I can rebuild that in that corner. So I can go home and put it together. Oh, yeah. So we are about to start. I've aligned everything over here. You can see the Eagle rods. Eagle. CP pistons. I marked the orientation because for some reason it doesn't give you an orientation anywhere here. So how do I know which side goes forward? It's because this part of the valve is deeper. Then the deeper side goes to the intake. And this, the the side that's shallower goes to the exhaust. So I put them on, mark them, that way I don't get confused. Making forward, those are the piston rings. And those are the, when you take these off, man, make sure always to mark them. Like I did, just clean them up, do one by one, clean them up and mark it. One, two, three, all the way to uh, 12. And then again, that way if they make a mix, you know where to put them. And then, can see here you see it says uh, BC 2300 those are um, brand crowd retainers valves the whole everything so we're about to start right now we're gonna start by cleaning this block really well and then um, started putting it together all right so I just got done cleaning this and I'm waiting on my dad to finish there so he can give me the stuff so I can hone it. I'm gonna hone it all six cylinders and then once that hone clean it one more time um put some more air I gotta get these oil rings new that one and that one need those new but yeah once we hone it down I'm gonna start putting the crankshaft so I just got done honing it So yeah, so now um, I'm going to start getting the rings out and I'm going to start gapping them and um, once once I get them all gapped up, we'll, put, we'll assemble this, we'll send them into the piston and then once we assemble them into the piston, then I'll start assembling the block in here and starting the actual assembly. 
of the engine. So we're trying to figure out piston gap. Bueno. So according to the instructions here, we are going to run turbo charge. It says bore times 0055 for the top ring. Right there. And then how do you get that measuring gap? I'm going to show you guys real quick. This is an 86 millimeter piston. You got to convert it into inches, which Google tells you how, tells you how to do. So this equals that then you take that number and you multiply it by, by this bore right here zero zero five five point zero zero five five and it gives me 18.86 now i have the thing here at 18 uh, you can see zero zero point zero one eight let me see if you can see it but here we go zero point 018 and I already put one piston gap in there and then when I put this one in there it's right at it's right on spec like this piston ring I don't have to gap I don't know if you guys can see it but this is perfect so I'm gonna check all the, the rest of the other ones but just want to let you guys know how that's how you do it then for the second one the same thing bore times you multiply it by that number and that's going to give you the what you need and then same thing over here all right so i got lucky like i said i didn't have to gap anything everything was within spec i put one in here put the oil and then um the next two so right now i did this one but my dad don't trust me with the piston ring he said i have really strong hands and i break them so it's, which is fine he wants to do and let him do it in the meantime, I'm going to start then assembling the crank and, and start getting everything ready for um, so for when he's done putting the pistons, rings and stuff, then I'll, I'll go ahead and assemble the the rods in there. And But this is very dangerous, like I said, but not because you're going to die, but because these clips, they fly. And if they fly, you have to spend the whole time trying to find them. So my dad said he's got a tool. Hopefully he has one. He don't know where he's at. And so we can do it. No, 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 no. All right. So I, I'm just putting the bearings, this, the main bearings, right? The top and the bottom bearings are different. I just want to show you real quick. This is a bearing that goes on the main cap, and that's a bearing that goes on the bottom, right? This pin where it locks, this one is thinner, this one is thicker. So even if you try to put it in there, it's not going to fit. This one goes over here. It's not going to fit. Now, another thing is these are thicker. Like longer side to side, these are thinner, and also this one has oil ports, and this one is flat like that. So, with that being said, just remember that these ones that have the groove in there for the oil go on the bottom, and this one go into the main cap. So, put a assembly loop in there. See that? And now we're gonna put in the crankshaft. Tells you the number, this is number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you know what? Wait, I gotta put the air piece studs. Right, so we put the air P mains and we also put the trush washers. We put the trush wash and then we drop the crankshaft. Now we're gonna start putting this. That's uh, number two. We got five. We have seven. We got three. That be enough. And then this one, you have to put this in here. But then the way you get them to stick in there is like you grab a little grease, a little bit, 
And you put it here. A little bit on this side. And then you glue it. Like a glue. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, just like that. Then you get more assembly loop. I don't know where I put it. Yeah, here it is and then you gotta put on this side the lines go towards the crankshaft like that and you grab it Alright, uh, so these are the tr what's called trash washers. So what happened was the other time they was pushing here, ate up the trash washers and everything. But for now, so far we're good. So we're about to now torque this. This we're gonna torque them at 60 pound feet of torque, and we have the washers and the bolts, and we have the lubricant from ARP. So let's start torquing this up right now. So we torqued the them already. 30. 40, it's my mom eating like always. 30, 40, and then um 60. We went in, then this one, and that one, and that one, like that, like that. And it moves very freely. So now we're gonna go start putting the pistons. Alright, so I got done assembling the pistons. Just finished them up. This um locker pins one of you in a corner they were painting about to put in there but i did manage to put them in there so i'm gonna tell you guys something also real quick the oil squirts i'm gonna i'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see all right you see my oil squirts they're cut see how short they are All right, this is how they're supposed to look. Like that. This is how they look right now. That was because when that, whenever you put um, GE pistons, because I had GE pistons and rods, but from the old one, this part right here is long, is a little longer down. So they will pinch this part, so we had to cut them so we can make them work. Therefore now, whenever we install in these ones, we do have the proper clearance for this. So I'm putting back the the ones that are supposed to be there. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I did manage to swap one out like that. So now I gotta do the rest. All right, so we had the pistons in. I couldn't record it because I was, I was trying to use both of my hands, but they are all in. I just did this market so I make sure I put everything, every single thing in the same place. And I put like a piston ring on this, uh, the gap, the opening on this side, the two on this side, the oil on this side, the other oil on this side. And they're all the same way. So. Oops. Ay. Oh, beautiful army and harmony they're working together awesome so i already put the pump too so right now we are going to i'm gonna start working on the head i'm gonna clean it up real nice put the head put the arp put the head gasket drop everything in there torque it put the valve covers on the top put the bottom pump and then go home and finish it up i probably won't finish today but um this weekend for sure i'll finish up all right, so I just put the ARP head studs in. Um, I'm about to put the head gasket on now. So 
So we'll get it out and then from there we're gonna put the head in. So let's get this out. So we'll put the head gasket on. This piece right here goes towards the back of the engine. Our exhaust right with the letters facing up. And we're about ready. Don't vamos tirar la tapa. So my dad, I just washed this real nice and clean. Look how shiny that thing looks. Um, dried it up, it's dry. When you put this, just so you don't run into this problem in the future. I mean, I, ne I didn't need, but uh, I didn't run into this problem, but this is the only way you can put it. You have to put the washers for the ARP. You have to put the washers in first because if you put the head in without the washers, first in here already put in the head, you won't be able to put the washers afterwards. So. Make sure you put the washers, put the head, and then you put the bolts. Because now you're gonna have to find you wanna find yourself checking the head out again. Alright, so we poured the head, we torqued the head, we put it at we torqued it at 30, then 55, then um 60, I mean at the, from 30, 60, and then we finish at 80. So everything is torqued already. Um, I put in the, the buckets. By the numbers, I put a little bit of um, assembly loop right here and on the bucket as well. This one we put the cam, you know, it doesn't ride on dry. Um, and then also right here, I took this out, put some oil in there so I can add some also um, oil inside the pump. So when we start it for the first time, it's not completely dry. So right now we're about to put in the first cam, which I, uh, this is the this is the intake side. This is longer, and we're gonna put this on right here. So we're gonna get the main caps, which we got on the other, the rod caps, which we got them here. And we're gonna start talking them. So we've talked already, all of them. Um, we put in the seals, and then after the seals, we're putting the plate. And we're gonna put the cam gears down, and for after the cam gears, we're gonna go and install the um, timing belt. Make sure it's in time, and then put in the valve covers. I think that's, that will be it for today. We've talked already, all of them. Um, we put in the seals. And then after the seals, we're putting the plate. And we're going to put the cam gears down. And for after the cam gears, we're going to go and install the um, timing belt. Make sure it's in time. And then put in the valve covers. I think that's, that will be it for today. Y tú sabes la tinta, la tinta amarilla que tiene... Y los marcos. Y hacer los puntitos así para que se vean en el video bien. También. So, let me see, I see. Ahí se ve, se ve. You see a line here? With this part, you gotta line that the same way with this one. With this one on the back. And then when you lock this VVTI, when you put it, you have to lock it this way. So, if you put it on the line, but it moves, it, it's gonna move. So, you gotta move it this way until it goes in the line. If you do it all the other way, if you go like that and you put it on the line, lock it here, then it's gonna be off timing by like four or five, five teeth. So remember, you have a dot as well. It's not the dot, it's the line with back there. And then on the bottom, you're gonna see a trigger wheel and you're gonna see a line. Those need to be aligned too. And it's gonna be on time. Okay, that's it for today. We just put installed the damper in and, and um, we're gonna call it for the day. Tomorrow we're gonna continue, but that's it for the video. Mira, que toque al esto. Before we forget, you see this too? We gotta, we gotta tighten them those too. Um, so everybody, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments. Doc, ¿cómo está quedando el motorcito? Eso está quedando el top secret. Top secret. Eso es lo que hay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Stay tuned for the next video. When we put it on the car, we find, we're gonna turn it on.